This video was made possible by EA Creator Network. Hey everybody, Crystal Gamer here with a life and death expansion pack Victorian build. I do use some other packs for this one as well, but I was trying to get as much as possible in with from the new life and death pack, which incidentally I have been referring to as the death pack. I don't know if anyone else is doing that, but I doubt that's what Sims had in mind for or EA had in mind for <laughs> the marketing of it, <laughs> that death pack, because that is how I've been referring to it in my head and speaking of death I thought I was about to die a few minutes ago like right before I started this video so I did this build a few days ago whenever I did it I don't know it's maybe about a week by now I don't know time just flies but I did the build and then I cut up the video and all of that stuff and I just haven't had a chance to record the audio for it yet and so anyway I had the video all ready to go and then I I opened it up in Premiere, you know, to do the, the voiceover and everything. And the entire freaking thing is black. And I'm like, oh my God, you have got to be kidding me. Like nothing is playing in the preview. I'm not even kidding. I'm just looking at this blank, blank, black screen and the thing is moving like it's playing. And I'm like, oh God, you, you've got to be kidding me, right? Like the entire thing is gone or just black. It's there. It's showing that it's there, but it's just black. I'm like, oh no, no way. And I don't even know what happened, but I tried to remove the effects and I clicked around a little bit and, and, you know, play, stop, play, stop, tried a few of the different clips that were like further along and all of that stuff. And then finally, I don't know, I just clicked the video one time and then it appeared again. And I was like, Phew, geez, but man, want to talk about technology giving you a heart attack for some reason. I'm like, what the heck is up with that? <laughs> I don't even know why. I have no idea. It just appeared completely black, going like any other time, and then poof, finally it just reappears. Oh, man. Yeah. So that was a momentary panic. But anyway, all right. Now on to talking about the actual build. It's a Victorian you know, I, uh, I did not do a build by video for this, this new pack. And the funny thing is I set everything out. I have everything set out on the 64 by 64, a lot that is available in the new city town, whatever Ravenwood, is that what it's called? I Ravencrest. I, I don't know, whatever. I can't keep track. We get too many worlds. I can't keep track. I'm, I'm done with names, pack names, world names. I'm just done. I, I can't keep track. But anyway, whatever the heck the new world is that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that this is in that has a very greenish tinge by the way like this section of the world has a very very funny tint and I ended up moving the build because I don't know it just it it looks much better in the other section it looks like brighter and livelier and whatever this is good like I guess this is the death part like this is where the ghosts live or whatever it's got this greenish bluish tinge or whatever over it but in any case all right that's that's besides the point um Actually, what was my point? I've completely lost my point. Great. I have talked enough that I completely lost my point. Oh, no, I know what it was. All right. <laughs> God, God bless y'all for following. If you're following this little freaking weird brain thing I've got going on. So um, I do remember now though. So I was, I was, I laid out everything for the pack, but I didn't end up having time to do the video. So I, I laid out all of the uh, life and death expansion pack stuff on that 64 by 64 a lot, which, oh, by the way, there's, there's a lot of stuff because, you know, expansion packs, there's a ton. And I took all the time to lay it out, but by the time... I, I had some editing work is what ended up happening it, when the build was coming out and all of that. And I really, really have to prioritize anything that is going to make me money right now. So I, I didn't get to, to doing the video for that. And then we end up with the other packs, the, uh, the two little kits that came out, the slumber party and the cozy kitchen and everything. And I'm like, well, I said I should probably do those videos first by the time I get them out and all of that. So anyway, I prior prioritized those, but I also figured I should do a build 
for this pack, uh, for, for this one, the life and death pack. And I wasn't sure, I'm still not sure if I should, like I laid out all that stuff. I don't know if I should do a build buy just because I'm, I'm very undecided on that. But in any case, to get back to the, the, what started this whole big diatribe that I'm going on is that when I laid out all the stuff, the very first thing I thought was Victorian. Now, I don't know if y'all do this where like when you really look at everything that comes in a new pack, does something ever jump out at you? You know, like I know I've had other packs where I don't know, I've laid everything out. I've been like nightclub. <laughs> and that's the first thing, like this stuff just looks like it belongs at a nightclub or whatever. This one here, for me, this particular pack was like Victorian. <laughs> that was just what all the stuff said. So uh, that was what I decided to build. It's been a long time since I've done a Victorian build too. And I actually really like Victorian houses from the outside. I love them from the outside. They're such beautiful houses. They're so intricate and detailed and, and they're just, they're just really beautiful houses. The style is, is nice because it's intricate and it's different, you know? And, and so I really like it. However, internally, I'm not particularly fond of the Victorians I have seen anyway. In a lot of cases, they're beautiful. Don't get me wrong. They're, they're all beautiful inside and out, at least in my experience. But the thing that I'm not fond of that I am fond of in, in newer homes is the Victorians seem to be very blocked off. Like all the rooms are really closed off. They did not have open floor plan then. And I do believe that that was because of heat <laughs> and fireplaces and, and all of that stuff. So open floor plan would have been very inefficient. Nowadays, open floor, floor plan does not really have that issue and so open floor plan is much more common and I don't know I just like an open plan I, I like it it looks more roomy and more spacious you know but I wanted to do like for this build I wanted to do it Victorian in and out so that means that the kitchen is blocked off from the dining room is blocked off from the the living room and and all of that sort of stuff they do only have a, a living room uh, not a sitting room I I gave them just the, the one living space. A lot of times a Victorian will have both like a sitting room where you would entertain your guests when guests visited and then, you know, like a living space for yourselves that would be more private. But uh, I just gave them a kitchen dining living room and, and that's it. They do have a little eat-in area in the kitchen, that little round nook. Had to do something with that little nook. I also found I, I was going to leave the walls up and I don't know, because I guess it's the smallest space, I couldn't get a table and chairs in there with the walls up. It, it was giving me the, the red, you can't do this. And I hadn't yet re-downloaded my MC Command Center and my, my tool mods and all of that stuff. So I was playing straight, in other words, without the move objects on. And I was having to manually type in move objects when I wanted to, to specifically when I wanted to employ it. And... Yeah, so that was why I caught the fact that when I tried to put a little table and chairs in that little nook in the front, it it just wouldn't allow it. It was going red. And I was like, wow, okay. So I think that's because the Sims can't get like around the wall and into the chairs or whatever. But I ended up opening up the room, which honestly is probably better anyway, because it's just such a tiny space. So it's it's a little bit more <laughs> open. We were talking about open floor plan. It's a little bit more open with the walls being down. So, so yeah, I think that's probably the better choice anyway. So yeah, the, the, the wallpaper, that was a big part of my thought with Victorian too, is it's, it's kind of, it's that older kind of style and it's a little bit more regal and all that, the, the wallpapers and stuff that came with it, except for the one with the, uh, there's one that has owls and ravens and stuff like that. And it's very interesting wallpaper. I actually kind of like it. I, I really like the ravens that, that came with it. So, yeah. So anyway, I wanted to do the, the Victorian, did all little separate rooms for this. This build footage is like partial build. And then we go into some, I, I did basically like a video tour with the using the, whatever you call the video tools. I don't know the name of anything. How do any of y'all listen to me? I totally don't know the name of anything ever. I am so awful. It is ridiculous. Maybe y'all just like make fun of me in your heads and it's entertaining. That would be good. I wouldn't mind. I don't care. 
<laughs> if you're entertained and happy, it's good. That's that's what you should be. So I made another little loft in this. I did a little loft in the, the build the, that I did the other day, and I decided that I needed some open space in this because it's so not open floor plan. So, yeah, I decided just to, to give it a little space, a little extra with the, the loft. And we are already moving into the the cinematics and all of that stuff. So yeah, there's that little nook and everything. It's pretty, it's, it's very, the, the kitchen is very red and it's very, I don't know. It's very bold. I kind of like the kitchen a lot and the dining room looks very formal, which, you know, it's what's, what it's designed to be. And I did not super clutter this house either. Last couple of houses I haven't super cluttered, uh, but this house in particular, um, I, I didn't want to, overly clutter because it's already, I don't know, it already feels kind of heavy. You know what I mean? Like the style with, with the wallpaper and everything, it, it, as it is, it feels a little bit heavy and like it's, it's busy kind of, you know, so you don't need like a ton of clutter because it's, it feels a little bit busy even without it, actually. I sort of feel like, I don't know. I don't know what y'all think. But um, I was also trying to to sort of keep down on the number of packs that I was using, like not use like a, a gazillion packs. I was really trying to keep it to as low a number as possible. And I can't remember how many I ended up with, maybe like five or six. I know I used Vampire. Uh, I, I used for Rent. Not sure what else, but... Um, yeah, I ended up with with using probably at least a half a dozen packs. Uh, the Modern Lux, the 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 uh, Morocco pack. Can't remember the name of that either. But yeah, I used a, about six packs for it, and I was trying to keep it as low on the number of packs as possible. But there were some very specific items in a few cases that I, I was like, I really want this pack from this item, and so yeah, that that was when it, when it went like that. Then I I used those items, but. Yeah, so we're now we're on the outside. I love the exterior of this this place. But uh but yeah, so that brings us to the end of the video. And if you enjoyed this, do like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh thanks so much for spending the time with me today. Hope to see you all back again next time. Bye now.